Hey, Good Fox here. Today we're going to do a Ricky Williams halfback review. If you guys don't know who this guy is, he smoked a little pot, became a very successful NFL player uh, back in and out of the NFL a little bit. But anyways, here is Speed 90, Acceleration 89. We're just taking a look at the stats first before we get into actual gameplay. Uh, Mutt Rank has him as the number seven power back. I would disagree. I think he's better than Emmett in general. Uh, he's a little bit faster than him. I do think Ricky Williams is the second best halfback in the game right now behind that 92 Adrian Peterson. Uh, but his stiff arm spin move, everything's pretty great on this card as we get off the edge here. He does get taken down. I mean, if anybody, it, a lot of this tackling in this game has to do with angles and the angle that you're hit at. Like, if you're a tackle from the side, a lot of times, you know, the A button, the suction tackle will take you down. You know, especially if you're ankle tackled or something like that. There are different animation angles. But Ricky Williams, you know, basically the way he, um, he can't catch the ball amazingly. But the way he can hit a guy like his trucking at 92, along with his good speed, really makes him a dangerous threat on your team. I loved Ricky. He played better for me than any other running back. Like, I, you know, I saw Sean McCoy. If you guys watched that gameplay of him, I didn't love him as much. Trucking is definitely the way to go. I mean, especially with a 93 stiff arm, so you can just, if you're going to bash the, it's tough. You know, I got Ricky Williams right after having McCoy, and sometimes I felt like using Ricky like I did McCoy. Sometimes you've got to run around guys, but effectively in this Madden, you got to run through guys. That's the way more effective way of running the ball, in my opinion. Some of you may be able to do a couple jukes here and there, uh, but like the jukes are pretty decent if you can do the right trigger juke to beat one guy. But stiff arm at 93, like I said, trucking 92, elusiveness 90. So Madden EA developers did say the break points on a lot of these stats are 90, elusiveness and trucking, and then the other ones. He's got. Unfortunately, his carrier vision is only 89 instead of 90. But again, over 90 is what you want to look for in running backs. So this guy's got both trucking and elusiveness over those thresholds. Like DeMarco Murray, who's got just under 90 in each of those. This uh, Williams will get the better animations because he has those stats. Like, look at a one-on-one -on -one with the defender. He just trucks him, just runs him right over. Now, he isn't as good at trucking as, say, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was a, a much better trucker, in my opinion, than Williams was. But Williams still, I mean, he's got a, one more speed, a little... Or two more speed than that uh, uh, Henry is, and then I mean, just can you know won't get caught down the sideline. A great player in general. Like if you guys want the best back that you can afford, get this Williams. Like unless I would say McCoy is a better pass catching back. I mean Williams ain't bad. Route running 73, is pass block 61 for third downs, catching 73, catch of traffic 70, spec only 65. But uh, he isn't something somebody that you want on third down, but you can use him there. It isn't his specialty there. He just outran that try to that guy tried to hit stick me in. There I could have tried to stiff arm, but I thought I might be able to outrun him there because he had kind of a bad angle. Here's a pitch off the edge and juke back inside. Not juke, but just a run back inside. Anyways, I mean, that is effectively what you want to do. Like get to the outside with speed. And, and basically everybody in the game right now has 90 speed, and that's it. Like that's the cap for the speed. And Williams is right there. Williams is right there with some of the best wide receivers in the game some of the fastest guys are only a couple speed faster than him like, you really can't go wrong with Williams the way this game is played right now like look at that breaking a couple tackles like he he did go down on first hits a few times but he didn't frequently and at his current price of about 165 I think it's a pretty good one for one of the top backs that will be in the game for the next couple months thanks for watching call to action I will see you tomorrow